give me a smile, smiling. Thank you. That's so cute. In 2003, I, had, uh, I was recovering from a long illness. I'd been sick for about three years. And uh, a dog showed up on a friend of mine's doorstep. It was like a half Rottweiler, half Husky mix. Really abused. Somebody had broken his back and knocked his teeth out with a baseball bat. And he had cigarette burns down his back. And uh, he ended up with me. And uh, over the course of a bunch of years together, I nursed him back to health. And, and he nursed me back to health. But at the time I got him, I had, I had no idea how to care for a living creature, and I was absolutely panicked. And uh, I was at my friend's house, and I made him write down this list of everything I needed to do to care for this dog. And, I mean, you know, he told me to go to the store and buy two bowls, and one for food, one for water, and bags of dog food. And I, there's a whole list. was 14 items, and I was walking home, and I, and I pulled the list out of my pocket. And item number 14 was rub belly frequently. And I remember being amazed at the time that the care and feeding of another living creature could be reduced to items 1 through 14, with one of those items being rub belly frequently. Totally forgot about the list, put it away, threw it in a coat pocket, whatever. We moved to uh, New Mexico, and our furniture had yet to arrive, so uh, Joy and I spent our first night here sleeping uh, in, a, in a bed on our front porch. And, you know, it was 70, 80 degrees May day uh, when we arrived and we went to sleep and we woke up and there was a foot and a half of snow on the ground and nothing in our life was familiar. Everything, you know, we had moved from 40 years in the city and I had traded it for a life in the country and all of a sudden I had gone from having one dog to having 15 dogs and everything about it was, was crazy. And I remember waking up that morning and standing up and looking around at all the dogs on the porch and all the snow and thinking, how the heck did I get here? And uh, it was freezing, so I grabbed this coat. We had piled all our clothes up to sleep in a pile of clothes, and I put on this old coat, and I shoved my hands in the pocket, and I, and I found that note my friend had written for me, and I realized I knew exactly how I got in here. I walked through a door marked rub belly frequently and never looked back.